meningitis. Meningitis is an inflammation of the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord, known as the meninges. It can be caused by viruses, bacteria, fungi, or other microorganisms. In this video, we will talk about the viral meningitis only. For bacterial meningitis, please check our channel for relevant videos. Viral meningitis is the most common form of meningitis and is typically less severe than bacterial meningitis. Signs and symptoms Fever and headache Similar to bacterial meningitis, viral meningitis often begins with a sudden onset of fever and headache. Stiff neck A stiff neck, though less severe than in bacterial meningitis, is still a common symptom. Photophobia Sensitivity to light is a characteristic feature. Nausea and vomiting, gastrointestinal symptoms are common. Lethargy and fatigue, patients may feel unusually tired or lethargic. Muscle pain, generalized muscle pain and weakness may be present. Rash, in some cases a nonspecific rash may occur, but it is usually not as pronounced as in certain bacterial infections. Mental status changes, while confusion or altered mental status can occur, it is generally less severe than in bacterial meningitis. Main causes of viral meningitis. Viral meningitis can be caused by a variety of viruses and the most common culprits belong to different viral families. Here are some of the main viruses associated with viral meningitis. Coxsackie virus, type A and type B are common causes of viral meningitis, particularly in children. Echovirus. Various echoviruses can cause aseptic viral meningitis. Poliovirus. While poliovirus can cause meningitis, the incidence has significantly decreased due to widespread vaccination. Herpes simplex virus, HSV. Both HSV1, usually associated with oral herpes, and HSV2, usually associated with genital herpes, can cause viral meningitis. HSV2 is more commonly associated with recurrent episodes of aseptic meningitis. Varicella zoster virus, VZV, the virus that causes chicken pox and shingles, can also lead to viral meningitis. West Nile virus, WNV, transmitted by mosquitoes, West Nile virus can cause viral meningitis, especially during outbreaks. Eastern equine encephalitis virus, EEV, another arbovirus that can lead to viral meningitis, though it is relatively rare. Mumps virus. Mumps is a vaccine-preventable viral infection that can cause viral meningitis as one of its complications. Lymphocytic chorio-meningitis virus, LCMV. LCMV, often transmitted by rodents, can cause meningitis in humans. Adenoviruses. Certain adenoviruses can cause respiratory infections and in some cases lead to viral meningitis. Influenza viruses, influenza viruses, particularly influenza type A and type B, can cause viral meningitis, although this is relatively rare. Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, HIV, can lead to viral meningitis, especially during advanced stages of the disease. Diagnosis. The diagnosis of viral meningitis involves a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and sometimes imaging studies. Here are the key steps involved in the diagnostic process. Physical examination. A thorough physical examination is conducted with particular attention to signs such as neck stiffness, fever, altered mental status and any skin rash. Lumbar puncture, spinal tap. Cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, analysis. A lumbar puncture involves the removal of a small amount of cerebrospinal fluid from the space around the spinal cord. Analysis of CSF includes examination for Cell count, an elevated white blood cell count. Pleocytosis suggests inflammation. Glucose levels, normal or slightly reduced glucose levels. Protein levels, elevated protein levels may indicate inflammation. Blood tests, complete blood count CBC. An elevated white blood cell count may suggest an infectious process. Serological tests, blood tests may be conducted to detect specific antibodies related to certain viral infections. Viral studies, polymerase chain reaction, PCR. Molecular testing such as PCR can be used to detect the genetic material, RNA or DNA of viruses in the CSF. This allows for rapid and specific identification of the viral agent. Imaging studies, computed tomography, CT or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. These imaging studies may be performed to assess the brain and identify any abnormalities 
although they are not typically necessary for the diagnosis of viral meningitis. Viral culture. In some cases, attempts may be made to culture the virus from samples of respiratory secretions or other body fluids. Treatment. The treatment of viral meningitis is typically supportive as viral infections do not respond to antibiotics. Most cases of viral meningitis resolve on their own with time, and the focus of treatment is on relieving symptoms and providing comfort. Here are the key aspects of the treatment for viral meningitis. Hospitalization in severe cases. Most cases of viral meningitis do not require hospitalization. However, severe cases or those with complications may need hospital care. Pain management over-the-counter pain relievers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen may be used to alleviate headache and reduce fever. Fluids. Adequate hydration is important to prevent dehydration, especially if there is vomiting. Antiviral medications in some cases. Specific antiviral medications may be used in cases of viral meningitis caused by herpes simplex virus or other viruses. However, this is not applicable to all viruses causing meningitis. Prognosis. Generally favorable, most cases of viral meningitis have a good prognosis. Many people recover completely without specific treatment. Contagiousness. Viral meningitis is contagious and is often spread through respiratory droplets or contact with contaminated fecal matter. Prevention. Practicing good hygiene such as frequent hand washing can help reduce the risk of viral meningitis. Vaccination. In some cases, vaccination against specific viruses like mumps or enteroviruses can help prevent meningitis. Avoiding contact, avoiding close contact with individuals who have viral infections, especially those causing respiratory or gastrointestinal symptoms, can reduce the risk of transmission. It's essential to consult a healthcare professional if meningitis is suspected. Even though viral meningitis is often less severe than bacterial meningitis, a prompt diagnosis can help manage symptoms and rule out other potentially serious conditions. Thank you for watching this video. The information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or heard in this content. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately.